Hi everyone, welcome back to the Mouse Channel. Thanks for tuning in. In today's video, I'm just going to be organising my food cupboard and I thought it might make a nice little relaxing video for you to watch, just to have a nose what's in my cupboard, see how I sort it out, inspire you to sort yours out. I don't know, or think, oh god, I don't want to do that because it is a boring job, isn't it? But anyway, I thought I'd make a little video out of it. I'm going to try and sort my cupboard out into different sections. So I'm going to bring you around here. There we go. And just show you what I've got in my cupboard. So I want to have this section here as to be sauces and condiments, that sort of thing. The top section there is the baking section. And then I tend to have pastas, rice, uh, coffee or stuff like that on this side, cooking oil and then biscuits and sweets and stuff at the top there um, so yeah let's get to it then so I'm going to just start by taking everything out got quite a lot of these um, spices and stuff and seasonings accumulating so maybe I'll get a spice rack <laughs> that'd be really posh um, gravy Bisto best curry powder, Worcester sauce right as I don't have any shelf liners or anything in here I'm just gonna take um, some anti-back spray and just give this a little clean just gonna use some of this method um, multi-surface cleaner this is the pink grapefruit one really like the smell of this and it's cheaper on Amazon. It's like three pound, three pound fifty, um, in the supermarket Tesco. Uh, Amazon do it for something like two pound something, two pound twenty, I think it is. And you can go on like a subscription service and get it every every few months for for like a cheaper price. Um, I haven't done that yet, but I might do. So I'll just show you what's in my cupboard. So I'm going to start, I think, by putting all the stuff I don't use so much at the back. So white wine vinegar, I hardly ever use that. I don't know why I bought that actually. Um, breadcrumbs, <laughs> malt vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce, and um, yeah, this coffee syrup. And then I'm gonna put my then I'm gonna put my gravies in, I think. So just oh. right now for my spices and things, I'm just gonna put all these in. I've got black pepper, thyme, oregano, cayenne pepper, a bit of Cajun seasoning. Recommend keeping this in your cupboard, it's so handy to have. Um been having sub rolls lately with Cajun mixed with mayonnaise on chicken and putting it in a sub roll or putting them on chips so handy it just jazzes anything up um, also this chicken seasoning is pretty good as well that's really nice if you've just got some plain chicken breasts and you want to jazz them up that's just from Tesco paprika really good to have on top of a prawn cocktail or a prawn jacket potato oh yeah ground ginger just for baking and yeah, oregano as well, really useful. Just a few Italian dishes. Just jazzes up your spag, spag ball. Um, and then I've got some curry powder as well, so we can have coronation chicken. Mix, mix that with mayonnaise, for coronation chicken. So that's that. It's already looking better. They've saved so much space. Um, right, so I'm now going to start on this side and just take everything out of here. Got my cooking oil. I've actually changed to olive oil now. Um, these are from Christmas. The chestnuts that Jay used to make his family recipe of Christmas stuffing. They actually keep for like a year, so I'm going to save those till next year. Everything's falling out some noodles to go with our bargain uh, box of, um, of stir fry sauces that we got from um, the clearance website we did a haul on, on what we got from a discount food site 
um, if you want to take a look back it's in the autumn vlog video that I did a few weeks ago pumpkin spice syrup I'm going to put that with my um, amaretto coffee syrup there just to jazz up the coffees um, also because I've got this Tassimo machine um, I'm very limited as to what coffees I can have because I have to have decaf so they only do about four different varieties so I think I'm going to actually get a caramel coffee syrup or something like that to put into um, the coffees just to like vary them up a little bit Right, so I'm going to start by putting all my pastas and things back on this side. Two jars of pasta. These bags of pasta are just 59p from Tesco. The Hearty Food Co. I'm going to do a tuna pasta bake soon so I might make a cookie video out of that. I'm going to try and put my rice into this jar and just put everything all into one packet so I don't have multiple packets knocking around everywhere. And next to all my seasoning jars I'm going to put my um, sauces uh, this, these are really good actually for use with spaghetti bolognese these farts uh, sauces and I also really like the Tesco's own stock cubes they're so cheap and so handy they're only about 50 pence or something up get the beef and the chicken ones they're just great for my soups and um, any sort of bolognese or sauces that I make leftover from Christmas keep a bit of garlic in as well right these are sultanas and light brown sugar so really they're more of a baking item so I think I'm going to start now by taking the baking stuff down okay so now you can have a nose through my baking stuff um, yeah, since the lockdown, I always keep um, stuff to just make bread with. So some yeast and some um, bread flour as well. Just in case, you know, there's any problem in going out and getting any bread at any time. Um, so I try to avoid it if I can. These are, you may have seen these in my um, Halloween cooking videos. Uh, these are just some regal ice, uh, ready to roll coloured icing. Um, so I'm going to stick those up there. Also got these uh, sprinkles. So again, I'll put those with the icing just so I've got like decorative cake stuff all together. I've got quite a few uh, syrups and honeys. Um, we've actually been having oatmeal uh, recently, um, but I was never really a fan of porridge. And then um, James introduced me to like the American way of having it which apparently is to have less water in it and have it more kind of lumpy and um, less sloppy than porridge and then mix it with um, honey or um, this maple syrup stuff and it's actually quite nice that way um, and I felt quite a bit better since having that so yeah I've been doing that lately brown sugar, sultanas, pasta sugar, ordinary sugar Again, caster sugar. <clears throat> Flour. Always keep that in for making pies and pancakes. They're a good standby for tea. Pancakes are a really cheap meal, by the way. And you, you don't only have to have them on pancake day. We have them all year round with um, a bit of sugar and orange juice on. They're really nice. 
always get a big jar of cooking oil because it goes down like nobody's business. A little freezing flour, I need to get a bit more of that. Nuts, they can go with my crisps which is up here so the crisps and biscuit section is up there. Um, so that's the next lot to come down. This is my cute biscuit tin, I got it off Amazon. And these are a job lot of Twixes, which I got off um, eBay. Um, it's just cheaper to do that. So uh, if I'm out and about, and I can only have white chocolate as well. I can't have milk chocolate or um, plain chocolate, sadly. So yeah, just got these for if I need to sit down and something to eat if I'm anywhere. Yeah, this is lovely. Sweet and salty popcorn. Love this. Love this mixed flavour. Just keep that in for movie night. Just have one of those every now and again. So always keep a bag in reserve. This is Jay. <laughs> when he comes round, um, he's uh, he likes to have a Hershey bar and so do I. Um, so he's introduced me to these Hershey's and he got these on eBay as well um, in a job lot which were much, much cheaper than buying them individually. So yeah, always look on eBay for your chocolate and your crisps and stuff like that. So yeah, I think the heavy things on the bottom would be a good plan. Put the chocolate bars together. I think these can go, these crackers, they've been open for too long. Not sort of TV watching snacks going up here. I'm not too sure about this uh, peach barley if it's gone off or not. Keeps for a long time um, but this is a really nice summer drink. Really like to have that. It's good for your bladder as well. Barley water if you have any problems with that. So is um, dandelion and burdock which I found out by complete accident and then looked it up and thought oh, I feel better today looked it up and um, yeah it's actually meant to be really good for the the bladder so yeah try dandelion and burdock if you have any problems like that lasagna pasta I do like to make um, vegetable lasagna now and again and uh, yeah food bags so just always keep those in as well um, just if I need to take a snack out with me and it's just really handy if you don't want to touch the food when you're out you can just sort of hold it in the bag. Also I recommend this Miss Molly's uh, white chocolate. It's just 30 pence a bar at Tesco and it's really lovely. It's not like it's not sickly like a lot of white chocolate is. It's actually really really tasty and tastes quite like milk chocolate. Also keep some peppermint tea in as well just for medicinal reasons if anyone gets a bad tummy. And that is it. That's my food cupboard all organised. I hope you've liked having a little nosy through the um, products that I use and like to buy. Um, as you can see, I've just got all of my um, sauces and condiments and gravies on this side, followed by the spices and herbs. And then moving across, we've got the cooking oil, all of the pasta and rice and noodles and things like that in jars. Moving up to the top, we've got all the crisps, sweets and chocolates and then the baking stuff at the top. Okay, thanks guys for watching. Hope I didn't bore you too much. If you have enjoyed this video, please do come back and watch out for my other videos. I do all sorts on here and I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching then. See you next time. Bye.